What's up everybody, it's Enes here and welcome to another Picasso home tour here in my base Spain. Today we're checking out this incredible modern home right behind me with a rooftop deck that looks towards amazing views. Here are the specs on this home and you can acquire one eight ownership of this estate for 844,000 euros. And as always, you can find more information about this property and Picasso in the description of this video. And now let's begin. Entry to the property, gate open up from the street level and brings you to a motor court where you can easily park, let's say four to five cars. Driveway takes you down this way where you can either park to your carport, but currently it stays as a little outdoor seating area. House is nicely landscaped. You have all these trees around you. I like the hedging on this side. And coming here, the front facade is very impressive. It's three stories from this angle because we got a rooftop above. And I like these metal grid details where your front door blends in, massive panes of glass, nice covered entry above. We have the walkway taking you to the side of the property or the side yard. And lastly, we have the front door here. Let's go inside. Here we are at the entry. Massive pivot door welcomes you in. Staircase on this side going down to the lower level as well as the upstairs. And coming this way, we have the elevator on our left hand side going all the way to the rooftop deck. And this door opens up to the powder room on this level. Floating bit of the design with gloss finish, massive mirror wall, toilet on the back, everything you need. Now coming back in, this entry takes you to your grand seating area. Dining setup right in the center, seating for eight glass table, which is super cool. And instead of a chandelier, we have this lamp with a marble leg, brush knuckle finish, and that's your lighting right there. Very nice. Very nice. All right, kitchen, right next door, island in the center, all marble clad. In fact, even the drawer fronts are all stone, which is this very clean look. Panel lights above, bar seating, and we have the cabinetry here, fridge, freezer down below. You have your Gaggenet appliances. I'm assuming your microwave and your oven setup. They look great. And your base cabinets continue. We have more of these countertop plugs. And I personally love this linear glass design as your backsplash. It's just a pleasant view to look at. You can actually see your two gates opening up to your property. All white kitchen. Again, stone fronts, which looks very elegant. And you have your sink here. Dishwasher around the corner. Everything you need, nice and open. and. Mikey, we gotta show this. Sliding glass doors. These are super nice doors. Opening up to your outdoor dining area and your pool. This is awesome. This is that white stucco, European, kind of like holiday destination look, you know? Everything is very effortless and it's just nice. Yeah. Now, living room area, facing the TV. I like the gloss finish that they have on the built-ins here, recess lights above, your TV in the center. And down below, we have this open shelf which is the perfect place for you to put a linear gas fireplace if you're on down the road. How, does, how would that work? Putting a fireplace? Yeah. <laughs> you, do you replace the whole panel? Uh, like... I didn't see that question coming, Mikey. Uh, you can put one. All you have to do is run a gas line behind the wall, and then you need to put some sort of a ventilation. And with that, you can put a gas fireplace. Nice. As long as it, it's one of those that like radiates the heat properly, not like it's going to melt this entire yeah. thing down, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's not like a raging like fireplace. Yeah. Exactly. Um, great spot, L-shaped couch, everything you need. Now let's go inside. We're not going outside yet because we actually have a bedroom on this level that I want to show to everyone. Staircase going down to the lower level and we have this door opening up to the first bedroom and you have a good sized bed, ceiling mount light fixtures, nice warm wallpaper, sliding glass doors open up to the side of the property where we had this really nice area, hedged, you have some mandarin trees there, good vibes and Around the corner, you have your built-in closet. Door opens up to the full bathroom for this room. Again, floating vanity design, nice clean countertops, mirror wall that goes all the way into walk-in shower. You have chrome fixtures, rain head, pretty nice bathroom. Now, Mikey, let's take everybody outside. We gotta check out the backyard because our views are great. 
Unfortunately, it is a little cloudy today, but we're here. We want to show you guys as much as Marbella as possible. And we have the sliding glass doors opening up to the outdoors. Off of the living room, you have this covered seating area, stone floors. And around the corner, you have an outdoor dining area right next to the kitchen, lounging areas. And we even have a staircase actually going down to a little seating area there. And right in front of me, your infinity edge pool. I really like the light and clean lines of this house. There are not many colors. It's really going with the white theme. And your pool is just simple and elegant. You just want to dive right in, you know? Yeah, it's really nice. Uh, it's good. You like it? <laughs> yeah, sorry, Mike, Mikey's man a few words today. I'm a little tired. Uh, <laughs> if, if, I mean, obviously y'all don't know, we've been in Dubai, Spain. This is our very last shoot of the trip. Very we, last. We leave day after tomorrow. No, we leave tomorrow. We leave tomorrow. Yeah, so we're heading back to Los Angeles. We're a little bit tired, except for Ennis. He's jacked up on caffeine. Yeah, exactly. Go. I got my coffee. I'm ready to go. We're touring this place. Yeah. You have your kind of built in and blended hot tub area, meaning your hot tub is actually connected to the pool. So you have this nice blended look and coming this way. We have the Baha'i shelf on this side, steps going down. You have your automatic pool cover. And when you get out of this pool, you have your outdoor shower and this side yard area that I mentioned earlier. How nice is this? You have the La Concha mountain on the back. Just Marbella, man. It's like, it feels great to be here. And also before we leave this section, I want to show the lower garden area to everyone. We have a putting green there and it's just nice to have all these outdoor levels because you live in this amazing climate. You want to benefit from it as much as possible. Uh, changing the subject. We have a lot of security cameras throughout, both inside and outside of the property. You feel nice and secure. This part of Marbella is actually really cool and just kind of calm and relaxing. I don't even think you need that many security cameras, but hey, they have it. Now, that's it for the main floor. Let's go back inside so we can check out the lower level. All right, this is our second take because the first one, I had way too much energy. Two espressos, one cappuccino, I'm on fire right now. It's floated down those stairs. Let's go. All right, we have this door opening up to the spa on this level. You have some storage areas on the left with a mirror wall. Sauna, good size sauna actually. I'm going in. Smells great. They always do. Something about saunas. It must be the wood. It is the wood. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not must be, it is the wood. It's pretty great. You have a walk-in shower here with a rain head, chrome fixtures. And of course, has a powder room, long vanity design. So countertops, toilet right behind me. Now going this way, off of the landing, left hallway takes us to the elevator access and going through this door, we go straight into the garage. The reason we wanted to come in is the fact that right in the center of the garage, we have this car turntable, massive glass wall. That way you can place your nice sports car here and look at it as you're enjoying your space on the lower level. And I can stay right there. I'm gonna open up the garage door so we can take a look at the driveway too. So this garage door tucks into the side and opens up to your uh, lower level driveway. I think you can easily park four to five cars here and it's nice that you have two gates opening up to two different driveways so you can park cars up front straight next to your front door or you can come right here, park it to your garage. I wanted to point that out. Now, let's come back to the lower level, continue our tour here. Off of the staircase, we have this nice open area with a billiards table right in the center, chandelier above. This is the glass wall that we just saw. And coming in, Mikey, let's go this way first. We have wallpaper. This is an interesting detail. They clad the column with mirrors and this door opens up to a little screening area. TV on the right, dark carpet, L-shaped sofa. And Mikey, guess which room does this remind me? We toured a home like this where we had the same palette and finishes. Uh, maybe like Michael Palumbo Hancock Park with the gold couch and the black uh, gloss wall? Yes. Yeah. I wish you played with me a little bit and not guess it <laughs> off, the, off the top of your head, but exactly. His movie theater had the same color palette. Obviously this one is a little bit smaller scale, but it looks very nice. It does. Now, let's get back out on the lower level. We have this section, which is super, super cool. Pool on our left that we saw earlier. Two glass sections bring a ton of natural light towels on the floors and we have this wallpaper here and of course a bar with a sink, dual elevation, dishwasher, ice maker, small fridge, everything you need. It has another picture window here bringing natural light 
from the main floor. That way this place feels nice and bright. Now, lastly, we got one bedroom left on this level. Let's go have a quick look. It starts right here. Tile floors, king size bed, and I actually messed up. There are actually two bedrooms here now that I'm on this side. There's a bedroom right next door. This one is very, very spacious, has a seating area, sliding glass doors open up to this atrium that they tucked in. That way, from the main level, you get all this natural light coming in. And since you have great ceiling heights here, these rooms feel like they're on the main level. Now, coming in, you have porcelain tiles throughout, all book match from the floors all the way to the ceiling. You have your rain head above, floating vanity, same unified finishes, and another great bathroom. Now, let's go back out. We have the walk-in closet here on my left, and coming back in, right off the staircase, we have the second bedroom. This one is a little bit smaller, has the same finishes. Ceiling mount, light fixtures on each side, which is always a nice detail. Sliding glass doors open up the same atrium that we saw earlier. You got your desk, built-in closets, another full bathroom here with a walk-in shower, everything you need. Now, that's it for the lower level. Let's go back to the stairs and check out the second floor. All right, second floor. First door on our right opens up to the first bedroom. Good size, same neutral tones throughout. Same set of ceiling mount light fixtures. Sliding glass doors open up to the balcony that wraps around the entire second floor. And we have the built-in closets here with the recessed in handles with darker tones. That way there's a nice contrast here. LED lit. You know what? These are great. The house that we're staying in, cabinets have the built-in LED lighting. And as you open them up, lights turn on. It just, it makes the experience a little bit better. It makes your clothes look really cool. There you go. All right, coming in, we have the full bathroom, another floating vanity. I love how this second elevation or the countertop goes all the way into a walk-in shower and it wraps around the corner. They also have the mirror continuing in. That way it makes the space feel a little bit more bigger. And Mike, we gotta show this. You gotta love a good size picture window that opens up like this. Oh wow. Ventilation. This is a very European thing. I feel like people in the US don't use these. Uh, they're not awning. What do you call them when not they tilt it? Not only that, but people love windows in their showers in Europe. Absolutely. They love that natural air coming in, you know? Yeah. Great bathroom. Now, let's go back. Let me close these and continue our tour. Hallway takes you to the elevator access and we have sliding glass doors opening up to a patio space around the corner. And the staircase also goes up to the rooftop deck that we're gonna see in a bit. Now, this pocket door, primary bedroom suite, built-in closets, and you go straight into the main section of the closet with open shelving, another casement window, looking towards your views, and let's go check out the bathroom. It starts right here. Same Italian porcelain tiles that we saw in the lower level bathroom. They have it here, but this time they went all out. I mean, it's book matched throughout. You have different cuts and veins here, more on this side. I just love that pattern continues all the way to the wall where we have the water closet. Walk-in shower, I'm going in. Mikey, can we pan up? Look at that right now. Very that large. Thing is massive. Really big. Really big. And I love the floor design where you have the centerpiece and drains are all around it. And you have your chrome fixtures. The entire bathroom gets so much natural light coming in. You have a mirror that reflects the light. Towel heaters, you like those. Mm -hmm. Massive freestanding tub. And look at the views. You have the Mediterranean you see in front of you palm trees, again, Marbella, it's pretty good. And two massive awning windows opening up, bringing natural air. And lastly, long vanity with two sinks, chrome fixtures, cabinetry down below, everything you need. Yep. Now, let's go in and take a look at the bedroom itself. It starts right here. King size bed on our right, facing the views, wallpaper to warm up the space, projector above, as well as the cold lighting, and they actually have a drop down screen here. That way, in fact, Mikey's trying to find it right now. Mikey, hit it. You got this. Almost there. I believe in you. Almost there. You can do it. Almost there. There you go. I knew it. He would do it. Oh, never mind. Oh, sorry. I messed it up. So, um, all right, guys, let me tell you guys a little story about Marbella. <laughs> <laughs> There's an iPad on the wall here, guys, but uh, I don't really know how this works. So, I'm just going to stop. Well, oh, okay. Oh, 
There you go. So we got the projector, built-in speakers. It's a great room, and honestly, I love the projector application because, look, when you have a bed like this facing your view like this, you wouldn't want a TV there or a dresser, you know? Yeah. This is nice. At you night, want, you drop you want it the in. the option. Exactly. Open corner. I appreciate the indoor-outdoor flow of this property. You come straight to your balcony on the second floor. Nice smoke glass railing all around the perimeter and the views. Again, it is a little cloudy today, but you guys get the point. I mean, we have the sea right in front of us. It's pretty awesome to be here. And Mikey, we got to show this detail. I know we're going to talk about it on the rooftop deck. Look at the mounds on our back. It looks so dramatic. Yeah, it's beautiful. I love it. And lastly, right above us, we got an incredible rooftop deck. Takes advantage of the elevation. Views are phenomenal. And we have the first outdoor seating area here with the fire pit right in the center, built-in seating, and right across, we have the elevator landing. That way, you can come to the rooftop deck from the main floor all the way up here without having to go through the house. And in case you're wondering, what if someone comes up here and breaks into the house? That's why you have a key to operate the elevator if you want to access it on this level. Now coming here, we have a storage closet and right in the center, we have the built-in drains with the tile floors. This is a full bathroom on this level since you have a hot tub and seating area here. Nice to have. And coming here, outdoor dining, your bar setup. What's nice about this bar is the fact that it has everything. Dishwasher, sink, fridge, storage areas, Incredible views. I love this back view. It's beautiful. It is beautiful, right? Shame it's a little bit cloudy, but like I kind of like it with the clouds, honestly. It looks a little bit more dramatic. We've been here like like almost two weeks. Sunny every day. Sunny every day, but like now we kind of get to see it a little differently. Absolutely, absolutely. Outdoor barbecue area, and my favorite part of this rooftop deck. We go up the steps, and this is your hot tub. If I owned this house, I would be using this all the time. It's just, it's so nice. Like hot tubs are great, but when you have a view like this, I feel like I would literally put my laptop here, I'll get lazy. I'll work out of the hot tub. Yeah. And just enjoy my time. You just cover your hot tub or you cover your computer in like a plastic bag and you're good to go. <laughs> just waterproof it? Yeah. I mean, beautiful property, amazing views. All right, everyone, that's it for another Picasso property tour. Amazing home, Mark Bayak, views are phenomenal. And I wanna give a big thanks to them for allowing us to tour another one of their amazing listings. As always, you can find more information about this property in the description of this video, so make sure to check that out. And lastly, if you enjoyed the tour, give us a like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next week.